there doesn't need to be any kind of special you know, evaluation magic related to TAH, but that really the concepts of good program evaluation carry over regardless of uh, what kind of project you're working with. The, the sort of basic tenets for effective program evaluation are, first is to, to base the evaluation actually in the goals of the project. Okay, so, you know, what is it that the project's intending to do? Did you and, and are you actually doing the things that you set out to do within your goals? Um, those are the, or that is sort of the basic question and questions that you try to answer. And in fact, actually, when we start off on a project like this, we frame this as evaluation questions that tie back to the goals. Um, the next piece is to make sure that the data that you collect, in fact, actually flows from those evaluation questions. So if you say that you know, the goal of your project is to um, ensure that teachers develop a uh, greater understanding of uh, uh, the roles of freedom, liberty, and democracy as enduring concepts in American history, okay? Well, we're going to want to actually find out if, in fact, teachers can do those things. The fact of the matter is, though, is that a lot of times people in their evaluations don't follow that basic rule of evaluate what it is that you're supposed to do. And so I think the role of the evaluator, whether it's you know, whoever's doing your evaluation for you, is to be able to, to pull the project's focus back to the goals. We don't necessarily want to know that people just think that you know, such, such presenter was the greatest presenter since you know, Abraham Lincoln. Um, if that doesn't really have anything to do with what it is that the actual outcomes of the project are, are tied back to. So, you know, it's, it's our task to sort of pull that along and guide that along. And I think sometimes it's easier to do from the outside to say that a professional development project is going to be evaluated based on student um, gains or gains in student content skills. You know, there's not a direct correlation there. And um, to attempt to prove a direct correlation, I think, um, inspires an awful lot of gymnastics and, and magical thinking and, and all sorts of things, which aren't terribly helpful to projects getting done what they need to get done. Um, I think that it, it looks like the new indicators are about teacher content knowledge, which at least that makes sense to test. Okay. And then issues related to the, you know, the degree of participation or the depth of participation on the part of participants in the professional development that's being offered, that makes sense as well. It stands to reason to say that if people are going to get something out of a project, they have to participate in at least 75% of the work of the project.